जनरेटर फेल टू स्टार्ट सो टूडे टॉपिक इज इफ यू ट्राई टू स्टार्ट योर जनरेटर बट इट इज गिविंग यू अलार्म फेल टू स्टार्ट हाउ टू ट्रबल शूट दिस अलार्म एंड वॉट आर द पॉसिबल कॉजेज सो टूडे इन दिस वीडियो आई विल टेल यू ऑल अबाउट फेल टू स्टार्ट अलार्म इन डीप सी in deep sea controller it is very common alarm fail to start so for example if you are trying to start your generator and it is giving you a signal fail to start so what are the possible causes so first of all whenever your generator you want to start your generator okay you have to check the fuel level in your diesel tank if there is a because fuel is very important for engine starting if there is no fuel your generator will never start the another thing the battery switch or the batteries if there is a battery connected or not you have to turn on your battery switch after that you have to check control panel fuses the control panel fuses control breakers is on and your controller is on for example if you press the manual mode button and the start button and generator not crank so you have to check first of all your battery connection if your battery connection is okay what is the next thing you have to check you have to check your fuel if there is a fuel or no fuel sometime we have fuel in our generator but engine is not starting it's mean there is a air lock in the fuel system of the generator so you have to remove first air from the system from the fuel system and then you have to crank again if you crank and there is fuel but engine not starting so you have to check your fuel solenoid your fuel solenoid or your ecm or ignition signal the ignition signal coming from controller in normally in controller we are not connecting directly the fuel solenoid or the ecm there is a relay between solenoid and the controller so first of all you have to check the electrical cycle of this engine starting system so once we press the start button your engine generate two outputs one is for fuel on and one for starter motor the fuel on signal is continuous while your starter signal is only for 5 seconds so during this time if fuel is on and engine is crank your engine will become start if any one of signal is missing for example fuel relay is not turning on and your starter is only cranking so it will crank three times and after that engine will give you fail to start alarm so make sure once you press the start button first of all your fuel relay is on second thing your fuel ignition is on the ignition switch or solenoid switch is on if the solenoid switch is on and there is a fuel in the fuel system okay you have to check the crank relay sometime crank relay having problem it is not giving signal to the starter so starter is not moving sometime we have low battery you will crank the engine your fuel solenoid is on your starter is cranking but engine is not complete the starting turns okay the starting turns so after that in even in this case if not operating you have to check your mpu magnetic pickup unit in some units where we are using mechanical governor with actuator the first thing once you give the signal to the starter and to the fuel this signal go to governor this governor card getting feedback from the mpu magnetic pickup unit your once the engine is turning during the crank time there is a voltage signal coming from mpu this mpu signal gives come to governor card then governor card will actuate activate the actuator once your actuator will activate it it turns on the fuel once the fuel is turned on okay the combustion cycle is start if there is a problem with air even if there is a problem with air there is a air restriction in the engine there is no air coming to the engine so it will also not start so you have to check the most important points your fuel your battery voltage battery switch is on engine is giving proper output to the relays okay 
all these points are very common and if this points you will check i hope you will start your engine so in any case these are the some main important points before checking any other thing if for example if you are getting failed to start these are the important points you have to check always so we will summarize this video so in every case any generator any kind of generator with any kind of system we have enough fuel we have proper battery voltage we have proper output signal from the controller and the relays are working properly and in normal condition the battery voltage is okay there is no voltage drop okay and the mpu signal is coming from to the governor and governor is giving output signal to actuator and actuator is not stuck and all of them after all of this if this system is okay but still engine is cranking so it's mean you have problem with your fuel system air lock you have to remove the air lock from from the air from the fuel system once there is a fuel uh, air in the fuel system engine will not start so these are the major points for engine fail to start alarm so once you have any failure due to in the starting and engine is not starting you have to check one by one all these points and if you have further more question further more queries please let me know in the comment section i will answer you thanks for watching power learning channel inshallah we'll see you in the next video till that take care and have a nice day assalam alaikum